from the Leeds Rhinos Foundation and today we're going to be looking at basketball indoors and some outdoors as well. The main focus today is going to be looking at our grip, um, our passing and some of our shooting as well. We're also going to look at other skills such as agility and hand-eye coordination too. So for basketball key stage one we have three challenges, we have a bronze, silver and a gold. For our first one, for our bronze, we're going to look at our grip of the basketball. Now in basketball, you grip the ball properly by gripping it with your fingertips and we're going to try and challenge ourselves by moving the ball around our body in a certain amount of time using just our fingertips, okay? So we're going to start off, pass it through one leg, through the other, and then round his body, as simple as that, that counts as one. We're going to see how many times we can do that in 30 seconds. After you've done your 30 seconds, you can have a break, you can have a little practice, and you're going to try and do that five more times. For our silver challenge, we are going to look at bouncing the ball, okay? So we're going to start off with our dominant hand for 10 seconds. All you're going to do is stand still and bounce the ball with your dominant hand. Once you've done that for 10 seconds, you're going to switch to your weaker hand and do the exact same thing. So see how many you can get through. You do that 10 times. After you've done 10 times, you're going to challenge yourself 30 seconds. You're going to try and bounce it using both hands, okay? If you want to switch it up and do single bounces as well and just switch it just like that, then you can do. After you've done 30 seconds, you're going to do that five more times to get you practicing. For our goal challenge for our key stage one, we're going to progress from static bouncing to actually moving and dribbling. So once again, all you're going to do is move around your space just with one hand, moving as slow as you can. It's totally up to you, moving around. Once you're feeling confident, you're going to switch to your weak hand, just like that, moving around, simple as that, moving around the room, bouncing the ball. After you've done that, you're going to give yourself time to go through both hands. So you're going to dribble with both hands around the room, simple as that. If you want to challenge yourself, you can give yourself a bigger space or you can move around a little bit faster. It's totally up to you. We're going to go for as many times as you can without fail. So if you drop the ball or if you lose control, then you'll restart. Try and count your bounces uh, and then write down your scores after that. Thank you for taking part in the Basketball Olympic Challenges. Um, let us know what your scores are, which, were, which will be given to you. Uh, if there's any other techniques that you need to learn, have a look at the document. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Good luck.